G'day and welcome to episode 125 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly update where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers and I'd love it if you say hi in the comments so I know that you're tuned in today. Come see what I've been working on, what I've completed and all the other fun and exciting news. But let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. Last week I told you all about the three quilts and three weeks challenge. And I have an exciting update about that. You'll get to see um, first finished quilt later on the episode. But I've also got some progress made on quilt number two, which is the doggo quilt. This is going to a dear co-worker of mine who is going to retire this coming Thursday. So it needs to be done over the weekend, really. But this is the front of it. And this is a really fun quilt. And then I love the back. This one, the back of it is absolutely stunning. It's all doggos. She's a huge dog lover, so I thought this was absolutely appropriate. Um, the back fabric came from Joanne's, and then the front, some of it was a charm pack, and some was scraps from other projects as well. So it really comes from all over. And so let's also take a look at the third quilt that we're going to do over the next week or so, which is this baby quilt that Lorenzo actually pieced. I'm going to go ahead and quilt it because we're running out of time, um, but you know, we'll hopefully get that done this week so that way it can go home to Italy with him when he returns later next week. So that's what I have for my works in progress. I'm very excited to be able to show you um, multiple finished objects later on in the episode but before we do that let's go ahead to our week in review and if you're new this is just a series of videos I take during the week mostly of me sewing but also of any adventures we get up to and we also try to include the doggos wherever possible so I hope you enjoy. week I asked everybody what their favorite project of mine was that they've seen on the channel over the last couple of years and I loved reading all the responses. I was a little surprised by the answer, pleasantly of course, um, because I thought you would, a lot of you would say the koala quilt. But the overwhelming response favorite was the art overall art east and Elizabeth Hartman patterns including the Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland and so forth. And I love that that's the response that I got because those are the projects I really get drawn to and really enjoy making and showing off each and every week. So the fact that everybody seems to enjoy those a lot is so much fun because that's just, you know, inspires me to make more of them. So this week I thought it'd be fun to ask what artists, if you are only able to make a quilt out of three different colors, which three colors would those be? For me, that one's going to be hard because I like using all seven colors of a rainbow plus some. But if I had to choose three, I think it would probably be pink, purple, and maybe some sort of like dark gray or black. Let me know in the comments what three colors you would make if you had to make a three color quilt. So what are my goals for this week? Well, I've kind of given a little bit of that away already, but let's take a look. I want, I, well, I need to. I don't really have a choice in the matter. I have to finish this quilt. But this should be done you know, hopefully today or tomorrow with a little bit of luck. I'd also like to get this uh, quilt sandwich made and get quilted or very close to it this week as well. And then finally, I just want to, would like to get some other stuff done as well. Maybe um, finish up the carnival quilt or make one of the produce section blocks or something else that has been um, sitting on the sideline for a little bit uh, yeah, as well. Uh, and I'd love to hear what your goals are for this week. Let me know in the comments. And so next up is our news and events section. And I had two videos come out this week. The first one is a mystery quilt reveal video and I am excited to announce that I'm going to be an ambassador for Cut and Cuts for the upcoming Wild West project and I'm very very excited to partner with them again and the um, sign ups for that go start this coming Friday at 7 a.m. Central Time or 8 a.m. Eastern so if you haven't had a chance to duck over and take a look at the um, different options go ahead and do so because I think somebody's going to sell it really fast. There's going to be an interesting twist for me on this 
as well. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out to see what I'm talking about. Yesterday morning, I had my friend Ginger from Copycat Quilt to join me. We sat down and chatted for about an hour and a half. We had so much fun. We really enjoyed it, and the viewers did as well. So if you missed that, go check out the replay. It's a lot of fun as well. This coming week, I'd like to get the Dormouse time lapse that I keep talking about actually published. I've got it pretty much all edited. I just need to put the intro, outro, and then go ahead and upload it. So hopefully this week, we'll get that uploaded as well. And then this Saturday morning, I plan to have a live. I just have not finalize my guess because you know with the boys leaving and everything else i don't know what we're doing from week to week so um yeah stay tuned for that and i'll let you know who it is sometime during the week so now it is a happy time in the podcast and all the videos happy right but really happy because it's happy mail time i got my order from so be a quilt which is a company run by fallon and matt caldwell and she also has her own wonderful channel called so be a quilt if you haven't checked it out you need to do so, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, I went ahead and ordered the trim blocks, which um, are these wonderful little things that have the sticky stuff at the bottom, so that way you can push it down on the fabric and just go ahead and trim it. I'll do a review video on these later on, but I got the entire kit. So I went from the two inch, and I love how it's printed down here nice and big, so you can kind of, when you dig through and look for it, um, you can see the numbers on it. So I went, they go all the way from two inches, all the way up to six and a half, so them next to each other oh no, that's the same way what's wrong with me and then i also got one of the little flying geese because this is going to come in really handy for some of the stuff that i do the small piecing with alice and wonderland and that sort of thing there as well i thought the full kit would be great because you know i do so many different sizes so um i'm going to give them a whirl i haven't had a chance to try them out yet so i'll have to let you know next time around how they work out but that's what i got and i'm really really excited to be able to start using those in the very near future and so now it is time to be able to show you the finished results. And you get to see a couple of wardrobe changes here because I actually recorded these sections as I finished the objects because these have both already gone on to the new homes. So the first finished object I want to share with you is a t-shirt quilt that you've just seen me working on over the last couple of weeks. By the time you see this video, it will be um, delivered to its recipient and they'll be already using it hopefully. But I think this turned out really nicely. You've seen this before, but the binding I just used the same as the backing. As you can see here, it's a nice grunge, and it also looked great as the binding as well. So I'll put a picture up here real quick so you can see the whole thing together. I think it turned out beautifully. I'd love to know what you think. Next finished object I want to share with you is a cushion cover, or a pillow cover as they call them in the US, that I made. Amanda wanted me to make a gift for a parent, and wanted to make it a bananas in overalls and so anyone from Australia would recognize this instantly it's a bananas and pajamas this is B1 so this was my inspiration but I had turned it you know from this into overalls I'll get it right in a minute it's 11 o'clock at night recording this so how about that and so this is the final product I think he turned out super stinking cool so you see that and there we go and then I just did a simple thing on the back and I had some cam snaps so I put one of the cam snaps on the back as well so again by the time you see this video it will have already been gifted to its recipient and I hope they enjoy it before I go I'd love it if you took just a few moments to go over to one of my google forms and fill out the survey this was the same one as I put out about a month ago so if you've already filled it out thank you so much for doing so and if you haven't I'd love it if you take a few moments to duck over and just let us know what you like and what um, you'd like to see it in the channel and so forth as well. It really does help me out planning my future videos, podcasts, and events and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Tell a friend, and I always love hearing comments from my viewers. Let me know where you're tuning in from and also how long you've been watching the podcast. I hope you all have a great day. Happy sewing, and we'll see you next time. Bye.